So, um, you haven't been an active member of the 12 tribe now for 30 odd years. For 30 odd years. Why? There, there can be a long and short trip because if you ask me why, I would say I don't know why. But the reason I remember the night, because this is about after, I remember after, you know, turning over my post in Virginia to another virgin. But I remember one time coming to the HQ after you know, and it's a turnover the post. You're talking the, the work you were doing with in the, Virginia, in with, Virginia the with the king. And I remember Larry asking me for a report on the king. And I said to him, I don't discuss what goes on in the king's house. It is not my place to do so. At the time, I, I did mean it exactly how it but I think he took offense to it. But I don't know. But I stand by that word. And anyway, it was about 91, 92. We had a members only uh, meeting. I think I took the road call. And then the virgin talk. And then Larry get up to talk. And the first person he took off the bench, which was all of a sudden, Mr. Levi, because Mr. Levi not doing his maintenance work, and then, but at that moment, I realized it was for me. He was coming at me, so I was all right, because something within me said everything, are you okay? So by the time he reached down the line, no, and him asking me to leave the bench because he said he cannot work with me. That was the word he used. Work with you as being the sister Dinah sitting Dinah. on the bench with the bridging. Yes, he's asking me to leave the bench because of I can't, you know, can't work with her. And so I took my bag and I walked out. You know. And that's been thirty odd years now. Yes. So, in a recent publication that um, Larry just put out, um, the former 12 tribes overseer, because that is the position I see he gives himself in this book, um, he, he mentions your name quite a few times in some very unflattering way, like you didn't make any positive contribution to the house, and, you know, and, and that, you know, that he had to dismiss you. You know, so how, how would you respond to all of that? Well, I had the opportunity to read the book. And the book is filled with lies. Lies from the beginning, because what he wrote in the book about the organization and how it started and his role, it didn't happen that way. I know that as a fact. And it is evident, because how could Larry was not able to gather anyone he didn't know anyone. He used us to do it. Okay. And over the years, even with celebrations and dances and stuff that we kept, we always shield Larry because outsiders couldn't understand how we allow this person to be in charge of us. But I want to say something before I get too distracted. You use the word overseer, and he used the word overseer in the book. And I find that word to be very, very, very offensive. I agree. I am sorry, but it's very offensive. Because that word is a new word to me. And it is so offensive. You said it is a new word, you mean as a 12, as a 12, 12 tribe, tribe position? position. Okay. Es especially. But it's an old time word. It's an old time word. As an old time slavery and word. What we know about overseer. Overseer. Yeah. And I now, didn't like it when I read it either. When I'm reading the book, I read the book, I see so many distortions and lies in the book, and I could go through them one by one with you. You, you, you see what I'm saying? But that word explains so much of why he did and what he did and why he would remove people. Um, 
and then even the way he speaks about brethren and sisters and the police and even the way he speaks about the prophet on one hand he's saying he caught like their body bodies and on the other hand he's insulting him saying he didn't have no teeth and couldn't chew up her but then i noticed that pattern of insult and disregard follows through the book and one thing i like to correct he wrote into that book that he had a private meeting with his majesty after they had um had a function in new york when you say his majesty with as for was saying as for was saying mm -hmm. he claimed in the book he had a private meeting with him and at the end of the meeting as for was saying his majesty told him to leave the money on the table mm. and i will stand by this his majesty will never ever speak that way it was very disrespectful and furthermore i could not see him having a private meeting with him that the the, the, the insult and disregard and the downplay of his majesty royalty our king no it's a lot of things you know but certain things really are triggered like for instance he talk about the brethren and sisters in ethiopia oh there's no unity if you talk to 12 you get 15 different things and you try to tell them something and you can't teach old dogs new tricks but maybe the problem i don't know what that mean <laughs> but it really implicates too many things for it to mean and it's disrespectful and offensive and that doesn't come from the heart of a Rasta man. It's over 32, 31, between 31 to 33 years that I was removed from the bench. And I lived, listen, after 18 years of serve and given all that you have, you don't just jump up one day and <laughs> you move on with life. It's a journey. And it was a very rough journey. And it was an easy journey. And it was a lonely journey. But there were times when I needed the most, and there was always provided for me. So I knew that everything in the end will be all right. I just have to go through past that journey. But it took 15 years plus. And I'm still on that journey. So my focus was not on Larry, not thinking after all this. I mean, you maligned. You maligned me. They're embarrassed. They talk all kind of evil things. Okay. So after 13 years, you still feel no, you want to go further and write it. I wasn't even thinking about you all. But th maybe that's one of the reasons why my, I'm still here. It has to be addressed. Someone has to take it up and address it because you'll get away with it and generation to generation will suffer. Well, well let me ask you this now and, 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 and put everything in some context now. Larry Curtis, otherwise known as Larry Benji, um, he's a white American Jew and I have no problem with that. But in his recent publication now, He's making himself out to be, it seems to me, the chief international overseer and spokesman for the 12 tribes of Israel and also the chief spokesman for Rastafari living in Shashamani in Ethiopia. Now, based on his record in New York, what do you think about Larry Benji being the leading 12 tribe ambassador in Ethiopia at this time? I'm going to answer that, but I want to say this. Larry's a runaway. Because if he was put in charge, he cannot repatriate before the people. Put in charge of the brethren and, and sisters in, in New because York. In New York, that is part of our work to make sure that everyone who goes, wants to go to Ethiopia, Ethiopia go, and we would be the last ones. Okay. 
Like shepherds then? The, like shepherds and sheep. But he now should prove himself to be a sheep herder in so many ways. He's a runaway. Because if you are an executive, how can you go before the members? And I notice in the book too, he wrote all these different places that he traveled and went around. But in the same context, he's saying he could not afford a $75 rent. So it's a, it's a lot of things, and I don't really want to get too deep into that. But he's not a he cannot represent Rastafari. How can you represent people that you are insulting? that you find offensive, that you are calling hustlers. You know what I mean? You couldn't, there are so many good things we could speak about to each other. But a person choose to say negative things, that you even talking about instances where we, with a HQ, you, you allow the police to come and do whatever they wanna do. What kind of person not even in the Catholic Church can they enter, because it's, it's a place of refuge. <laughs> so, the way he talks about brethren and sisters, Rastafari, and you know, I was looking in the book actually, and I challenged myself, I don't see the word love. Hmm, peace because, and love? Yes, because when I know when I grow okay. up, man, I Rasta that. Peace and love here, my sister. Peace and love. And I don't hear peace and I, I don't hear love. I don't see those words. Well, it is you kind know, of strange. I see words of tyranny. It's, it's kind of strange to think that the legacy of black people and of Rasta in Africa is in the hands of an Ashkenazi Jewish overseer. I mean,. Like it you. is strange, it is really strange, and actually he shouldn't even be there, because when the land was given, because I could be wrong, but it's a land grant given to, to Africans who are in exile. The Sheshamani land grant in, land in grant Ethiopia. In Ethiopia. It's for Ethiopians it's in exile. Ethiopians in exile and other Africans. People of African descent. descent. Yes. So, so number one, why you take his run away, leave the work, to go there. You understand? You have no right there. Leave it for those who, that it was left for. Respect that authority. You see what I'm saying? Africa is a vast continent. But now, the legacy of Rastafarian rests in his hands if we continue to even think for a moment that what Larry writes is the truth because it is filled with lies, dissension, and if we continue like that, and people who don't know us, read about us, we would become dismantled, our generation would hear of us in such negative tone, that they now would have to suffer so much under the whip again, because it becomes the next cycle. Under the overseer. Under the overseer, we yeah. under the whip again. Look how long now we journey from, okay, they said they have all this, and we're still fighting, or defending who we truly are. I see the other day they print out artifacts that they said they took, they loaded it back to the country that they took it from. Listen, what has been stripped, we have been stripped. That is so Our insulting. Legacy, very insulting. Our legacy has been wiped out. What, what, what they say? They plagiarize us mm. and then they demonize mm. us. They call us savages. It's a stolen legacy. It's a stolen legacy. And they legacy. are still trying to steal our legacy and right we, now. Right now. And what I don't get is that we as Africans, we want our monarchy back. We, that was the only, that is us. That is who we are. Why Europe, so many Europeans can have their monarchy. But we mustn't have ours because ours don't live up to the standard. That's not it. But they rob it from us. Mm. They copied how we administrated mm. ours. Yes. Yes. It's all true. They <laughs> took away our architecture. They took away our medicines and they turned it into 
whatever and say is theirs, but the base of it in everything, you know. They took away our spirituality and turned their religion they into it. They tried to take away our spirituality, but our, the spirit of us is like a furnace, you know. Even when you think it's out, <laughs> you're still a little like Fire, light fire light. burning, fire burning, fire burning. You know? And that is what enrages them so much. And Larry come as if he's working now to for them to create that again. That this man you know how many people don't talk to people now because they don't want to say what Larry has done is wrong. It's evil. If you read that, it's evil, it's trash. And the family and him need to remove the book because if it's it is offensive and if they truly love who we are and what Rastafari stand for, then if it offends so much, then you cut it off, remove it. Well, I must say, talking about the book, um, it's more pictures, almost pictures and um, posters and flyers for events, more than even the words. There are no chapters in this book. No chapters. There, there, there is no, no table numbers. of contents. There are no numbers. So Wrong spelling. It's, they even, it's even very spell, badly edited. Spell the emperor's name wrong. It's very badly edited. So, you know, I, I am hesitant to call it a book, book, but it's been put out and it's available online. And these words you're hearing from the sister is in response to some of the things that were printed in that book. Do you know that book sells for $50 on eBay plus shipping? The same book we're the talking about? The same book we're talking about. Sell for how much? $50 on eBay plus six ninety nine shipping. No, that's, well, well, I can say easily. That's a ripper. A book that, that is no <laughs> chapter, no numbers, <laughs> stolen pictures, stolen legacy, full of lies. <laughs> but you know where that sells? For fifty dollars on eBay, mostly in Europe and the Caribbean, so we don't uh, realize the extent of the propaganda and how far it is and reaching. How far it is reaching because you have people there who don't know the beginning of this, and so they rely on when somebody say they are a member, an overseer, and that word it needs to be. Well, that, that's why I'm talking to you, because if you see yeah. something, you have to say, say something. something. So I am glad you saw it, and I am glad you are saying something. Yeah. Give thanks. Yeah.